Richie, I'm having a real problem. What is the problem? Drummer Mike, he really doesn't seem to be, how should I say, in it for the big picture. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, he seems to be doing a good job for me. I mean, what... He's getting in the way. In the way of what? In the way of us. He's getting all the laughs on YouTube. Something needs to be done. All right, so we had three days off, long drive, plenty of vocal rest for me. And where are we now, guys? Zlin in the Czech Republic? I don't right. know if I'm pronouncing that right. What's wrong with, uh, with Grumpy over here? Why is he looking so yeah, down? What's so the matter, Mike? Dude, you got to get that stupid-ass puppet out of this bus. Like, I know it's funny. I know, like, he's dancing around. We're having a good time, but, like... We, like the, we didn't post that video, so they don't know. We made a video of... I, I bought a puppet... In Prague, at this old vintage store named LeBron, I named him LeBron. What do you yeah. mean, get him off the bus? Like, huh? like it's, you, it's. And I have him in my room. I have him freaky. in my quarters. He doesn't like that he's on the bus. It's this freaky devil-looking puppet, and like you know, you come in, it's the first thing you see, and like it's like that little. Yeah, it's, it's like he's like looking at you. It's like a you toy, know? though, dude. It's, it's a toy, like, dude. <laughs> it's it's made of wood. Object. It's freaking yes. me out, man. It is totally freaking me out. I think, I think like it's cool. Right. Like if we put him in your suitcase, how about we this? Put him under the bus. You, you I don't go in your bunk. You don't go in. In my private quarters, and no, we don't have a problem. I, I know, but I see him. You have him sitting there. If I'm trying to walk to my bunk, I'm, I'm all seeing. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, <coughs> are you still freaked out over, uh, our new friend? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, and I really appreciate that. Like, I'm all freaked out, and then, like, you have him coming up, like, dancing to you. And I'm not, well, I thought maybe I could my ass is in there on my Yeah, it didn't work. Seriously. I got to look at this fucking thing. Yeah, I don't like puppets. They, they scare the hell out of me. Especially this puppet. This one is. This was funny, though. Yeah, it was kind of funny, but, like, I got, I got this thing about puppets and like this one is like one of the freakiest puppets I've ever seen. Why, so of course it's, it's creepy so of course you can. Uh, it's the devil. Uh, it is the devil, yeah. I have him hanging in my room. Yeah. Yeah. You seem quiet. Well, I'm just kind of a little bummed, you know. I've been struggling with my voice for the last couple of days, and I, I thought it would have been 100% with a three-day rest, and it's, yeah, I'm still not able to hit notes. And The sound was kind of strange tonight, so, you know, I'm just kind of a little, a little frustrated with myself, you know, and my performance, you know, stuff like that. I don't really think that's the problem. No? No, not at all. I think the problem lies somewhere else. What do you mean, somewhere else? Not with you, but with a certain someone with red hair. Well, don't tell me you're talking about Mike. I can't... I don't like Mike. He bothers me. Something about the way he is. Well, I mean, I can't do anything about it. He's my drummer, you know. I mean... I don't really know that you understand. Now that I'm in the picture... Yeah. You need to make some changes around here. I'm not satisfied. Uh.
Last night, around 3 a.m., I decided to take some liberties and go for a walk in the hotel. Really? Yes, and I stumbled upon some voices and an all-too-familiar smell. What do you mean? Well, I heard bottles clanging and the smoke smell of marijuana cigarettes and I heard voices coming from a room and it was Dylan and Mike. I think they were drinking and getting high. Oh, really? Yes, really. Doesn't that bother you? No, I mean, it's as long as they don't mess up the gig. But aren't you trying to stay sober? Doesn't that make you want to smoke a cigarette or have a glass of wine? No, I'm fine with it. I'm doing well. Okay, well, we'll see how long. That last. I'm gonna talk. Like, I've just been like staring at the window for like two hours. Huh? I've just been staring at the window for like two hours. Like, what's up? Oh, I'm just thinking about. I'm just thinking about. That. Like what? Hmm? Like what? You know, you're, you're not talking. Like every. Well, I mean, Mike, I don't have anything to talk about. Just kind of... Cool. You know, I was, was up last night, like, it was the weirdest freaking thing. Like, like I don't know if it was the hotel, like, where my room was at, but, like, I I almost felt like this, like, like I heard this, uh, like, shaking at my door. I thought, like, maybe someone was coming down the hallway, but it was, like, like a rattling. And then I went out to check it, and, like, it sounded like someone was running away so I thought maybe like some fans or something were were in the hallway because like and finally like I go I open the door and you're like oh it was probably some fans. yeah so uh, they find it's not that I was like I was asleep I was like finally like out of sleep and then you know I, I hear this I thought I was losing my mind for a so night. last night you didn't stay up you weren't doing anything you were just sleeping I was for the most part like, really? I finally got back to the room I was, I was out until, until I the you and Dylan didn't hang out at all until yeah, we hung out. Do you guys normally do that after a show? Yeah. Stay up? What do you yeah, know you keep leaving. Like you, we well, I go to, to bed. I'm tired. Yeah, but like, what's weird is like you used to hang with us, and like now like, you're just like straight back in your room. Like, right oh, back. you know, I lost my voice, nope. so I'm trying to take care of us. Yeah, you well, we should hang with us more. So like, it seems like you get off stage and you get right back in that room, and then like <laughs> your red lights are on. I know you're vibing out, but like, yeah. Making sure you're all right. Oh, I'm fine. So, Richie, tell me, how have you been doing with the ladies on this tour? Well, to tell you the truth, LeBron, I'm not out here for the ladies. I'm here to work, you know, uh, trying to promote my record and and do a good job with the shows. Well, I know you're not being totally honest with yourself by saying that. Oh, really? Oh, yes. What about the girl in Hanover? The one you tried to seduce with your song lyrics? That didn't really go so well, did it? I mean, really, LeBron? I mean, you think it's really fair to, to bring that up? I mean, you know, it's uh, not easy for me, you know, being out here uh, trying to keep it together, you know? I'm just... Uh... Oh, I understand. You want to have a drink now and then to loosen up. It's not wrong. Maybe you need to take some advice from your tour manager, Jerome. 
when it comes to the ladies. Now, what does Jerome know about the ladies? Apparently more than you. The other night when I was spying on Dylan and Mike, I spotted two attractive young women leaving Jerome's room. Maybe you might want to think about having a glass of wine or two. Just a little something to grease the wheels with. It seemed like someone I know had a nice time tonight. Yeah, actually, uh, I did. You know, I, I think uh, my voice felt pretty good. I wasn't perfect, but um, felt a lot better than uh, than I did before. And you know, we did my angel tonight. I thought that one came out pretty good. And and I did uh, Sarah smile, which. Uh, we hadn't played that in a while and went over really well with the audience. You know why, don't you? Uh, no, I, I can't say that I do other than me just playing it. It's because of me. I made it happen for you tonight. If you go back and watch the video, it was my name they were chanting before you started my angel. Ironic, isn't it? Now I need you to do something for me. All right, LeBron, what do you want me to do? Take me to where it is, that drummer might. Yeah. Hey, LeBron. What? What? What if I if I were to ask you if if you were good or if you were evil? Like, what what would you say? Don't think you can get rid of me that easy, do you?